Hey, it's December! You know what that means. Time to listen to Christmas songs on repeat and fall into a stress-induced panic trying to figure out what gifts to get your loved ones. And luckily for me, I found a special little gift for all of you. So a while back, I was rummaging through some of my old art from high school when I discovered an old Christmas comic I drew when I was 16. I got such a kick out of rereading it, I thought, Wow, this is bad! I should scan and post this so my viewers can see it. But then I thought, what if I dubbed over it like it was a corny romance anime? So I did exactly that. Is this comic good? Absolutely not! I'm actually really embarrassed to show you my old work. But that's exactly why I decided it was the perfect Christmas gift. I hope you enjoy this cringe fest. Happy holidays! And remember, don't say I didn't warn you. Every Christmas, I'd always spend time with family and friends. Exchanging gifts, baking treats, karaoke. But now that I'm a college student, getting home gets expensive, and everyone else goes somewhere for break. Hi, Sonami! Keep the dorm clean! So... Okay, so one strawberry cake and a bag of chocolate cornets. Is that all? Here I am. Thank you. Oh, here's your change. I'm working at a bakery for Christmas. I'm kinda broke. It's not like I had any money to spend with everyone anyway. I spent it all on food and textbooks. Why did I have to be the only one without plans? Ugh. Actually, there was one other person who didn't have any plans. Hmm? Oh no. I'm not doing anything for Christmas. What? Come on, let's go do something! Venus having a party on Christmas, wanna go? No, I don't like attending your stupid get-togethers. Uh, um, Kazuki, I made you some Christmas cookies. I don't know if they're any good. You don't have to eat them, but... Oh, thank you. I feel bad. I didn't get you anything, being that we're friends and all. It's all right. Don't feel bad, Sonami. See, Kazuki here doesn't like doing anything for his friends. Shut ah. up. Do you have any plans for Christmas, Sonami? Uh, me? I can't let him know I'm spending Christmas by myself. He'll think I'm a recluse, a hermit, antisocial, a total loner. I'm busy. Ah. Uh. Come on, go to Mina's party with me. I don't want to. Besides, there's really only one person I'd want to spend Christmas with. God, so lovey-dovey. So, who's the lucky girl? I'm definitely not telling you. So, he has someone already. Well, anyway, thanks for the treats, Sonami. I'll definitely eat them. Enjoy your Christmas break. How come you never smile for me like that? I don't smile for idiots. I guess it's better that I lied. Well, the whole I'm busy thing wasn't exactly a lie. Oh my goodness, here's your change. Okay, uh, stupid machine. Sorry about the way. Um, let me go check to see if we have these. I think we don't have any more, but let me go check. Manager, we ran out of- This should set the romantic mood. Why are you hanging a mistletoe? There shouldn't be this many people on Christmas! Thank you. Please come again soon. <sighs> that was the last of the crowd. My, what energy. You're a hard worker, Sonami. Uh, it was nothing. Oh, you're spilling over the counter. I have to go home and cook dinner. Could you lock up at midnight? Sure. Feel free to help yourself to some cakes, Sonami. You've worked hard. Uh, thank you. <sighs> I might as well eat something. No one's going to buy cake at 11 p.m. I bet everyone's enjoying themselves right now. Even Manager is eating cake with her family. Having fun, eating good food. Everyone but me. Santa, what did I do to deserve this? Couldn't you at least come visit me? Maybe I'm being punished this year. Maybe Santa thinks I haven't been a good person. But even still, wasn't it cruel to leave me by myself? I'm so lonely. It hurts so much. Somebody, please come see me. <laughs> Look at me. I've got all this cake, but nobody to share it with. Why? Why of all days do I have to be alone today? <laughs> this is unbearable. 
Hello, are you still open? Who could be at this hour? Um, is this place still open? Ah, y y yes! I didn't know you worked here, Sonami. R really So this is what you meant by being busy. S so are you here to buy a cake? Uh, for a date, maybe? What? No, just one for myself. <laughs> I wasn't planning on getting into the holiday spirit this year, but it's a little lonely without it. Lonely? Y yeah, I know what you mean. Sonami? Yes? Could it be that you're all by yourself? Uh, actually, the manager was here a couple minutes ago, but I'm just staying until closing time, and, well, I, I guess you could say I'm by myself. <laughs> well, I guess that makes two of us. K Kazuki, you're, you're by yourself? Ah, well, yes. All I did was sleep all day. <laughs> but, you know... Even for someone who hates special occasions, Christmas is a day you should spend with someone. Isn't that true? <laughs> You're right. Ah, sorry. There I go rambling again. You've always been so quiet, Sonami. Kazuki! Hmm? Will you... eat cake with me? I mean, it's just that there's so much of it and it doesn't feel right eating it by myself. Sure. I love cake. No point in letting it go to waste. Let's eat it together. To... Together? Th then just sit over at that table and I'll bring it over. I is there a particular flavor you like? No, pick anything. After today, you must be wiped out, huh? This is the only bakery open. Are you sure you don't need- yeah! huh? Sonami! <laughs> Are you alright? I'm sorry, there was cream on the floor and I wasn't... Uh, I... God damn it, I forgot about the mistletoe! I I'm sorry, I totally didn't put that up there. It's a uh, decoration that the, the manager put up because she wanted to... Are you feeling better? Huh? You were crying earlier, right? It's nice to see you smile again. You noticed? Of course I noticed. I'm not blind, you know. You know, Sonami, it's okay to be honest about your feelings when you're upset. When you said you were busy, you were actually really lonely, right? I could tell you were nervous. But that's not fair, Kazuki. Even though you said you didn't like parties or get-togethers, you were actually really lonely too, weren't you? <laughs> you're right. You... you're really cruel, Kazuki. You know, I was too scared to ask you about plans because you said you didn't like special events. Why did you lie? And what you said about spending Christmas with just one person, why would you lie about that? That wasn't a lie! When I said I wanted to spend it with just one person, I was referring to you! <sighs> See? Now you've gone and made me embarrassed. And that's where it ends, because I never drew the last page. <laughs> why? I think at the time, I was like, I don't know how to end this. Whatever, I'll draw an ending to this later. It's been seven years, Emily. Where's the last page, huh? Where is it? If you managed to sit through all of that weeaboo holiday goodness, congratulations. Thank you for being there to witness this ancient piece of high school history. If you're interested in seeing the scanned comic pages as they are, there's a link in the description for your viewing pleasure. But honestly, I have no idea why you'd want to revisit that again. And in honor of this festive holiday, I've released two new items in my merch store. We have a bakery window themed sweater and a mug with a little hot cocoa themed design to match. These designs will only be available until December 15th, so if you're interested, make sure you snag them in time for the holidays. Also, holy cow, thank you for a million subscribers. Ah! It still hasn't really processed in my mind yet, and honestly, I don't know if it ever will. I am so grateful for every single one of you, and I didn't actually have a 1 million sub special planned out or anything, so I'm kind of unprepared. Just the fact that that many of you vibed with my content enough to actually stick around is insane to me. And I'm thrilled to end 2018 having reached such a huge milestone. Thank you. 
Also, thank you to Daniel Acosta for agreeing to provide his amazing voice to this mess of a comic. He did a phenomenal job, and my voiceover attempt pales in comparison. I like a lot. Thank you to Yaroshian for lending me his voice last minute for the part of Kaski's friend, and big thank you to Moonshine Animations for helping me put it all together with editing the panel movements and everything. He actually helps me out a lot whenever I need assistance with editing more complicated things like this. Time for me to get started on my next story video, so until then, thank you, and happy holidays!